tonight we are playing Azul. So we got this game. So our Christmas, all the kids wanted for Christmas was board games. So we decided to give them board games for Christmas. And to spread out the love throughout the year, we decided to give them a new board game every month on the first of every month. So this is the game that they got for January. This was our January game. So super excited. We love this one. There are expansions. We don't have any. We haven't gotten to that point yet. Comes with four boards. This is where you keep track of your score. This is where you collect. This is where you get your points. And this is kind of like a discard. So we'll get you to there too. There's a second side, we'll show you that after. So each player starts with a board. These little black squares are how you keep track of your score. So each player gets one of those and you put it on the zero. You can't go negative. So if you, if you do happen to score negative, you just stop at zero. This one here is the number one token. You're penalized if you have this, but you also get to go first on the next round. So you have to decide if the uh, penalty is worth it. There's a bank in the middle. You make circles. So there's four of us playing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With four people, you have nine circles. Put the number one in the middle. If you're playing with three players, two players, uh, there's different amounts of circles that you use. Just refer to the instructions. In this bag are the beautiful squares. Now I have one. I miss one. Which color am I missing? Okay. So there are four different types of squares. Blue, black, snowflake, yellow, red. Five, did I say four? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, there's a cat under the table and he's knocking my get out of here, you beast. Okay, so there's five different colors of squares. First thing you do to set up is you're going to put four squares, blindly choose from this bag, and you're going to put four squares on each circle. And then the kids usually just come behind me and they make them look nice after the fact. Mommy. Not Ryder, he doesn't organize things. Ryder would live in chaos. If we allowed Ryder to live in chaos, he would live in chaos. Right, Ryder? Okay. So there's still some left in this bag. Keep them to the side. You'll need them for next round. These cats are just everywhere tonight. I'll tell you what, they are noisemakers. They must want to play. We use the box lid to collect the unused tokens or the after used tokens, I guess. We'll show you how to do that after, but we do have the box lid right over here. All right. The goal of the game is right here. The goal of the game is to 
fill in the colored squares and try to fulfill these patterns down here. So you're looking for horizontal line, you're looking for vertical line, and you're looking for all of the same color. So all the blues would be covered. Okay? That's the goal. You get different points for the amount of patterns that you get. So the first person to get a horizontal line ends the game. All right, so the person who goes first, nobody has the number one square, so it's totally up to you. Does anybody here want to go first? Me. Ryder wants to go first. Chaotic, chaos, Ryder. Can Lily go first? No. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissor, one round? Okay, one Rock, round. paper, scissor. Let's go. One round, no, no second. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Done. Lily wins. Okay, Lily's going first. I so, said I was going first though. She, she said it silently. She's just quiet. Okay, so what Lily's going to do is she's going to choose one of these circles with the four tiles and she's going to take one of all the same. Okay, so which, this one here, okay. So she's taking the three reds because they're all the same and she's, the yellow will go to the middle. So where's your, is this your card here? Okay. So you can see she put them on the bottom. So she still needs two more reds to finish that row. And right now in this part of the turn, we are only working on that side of the board. Once all the tiles are gone from the table in front of us, the round is over. And sorry, we will move all of these onto the colors. And we'll show you how to do that as well. All right, Dad, your turn. Okay, so he's taking the yellows and the blues will go to the middle. Okay, Ryder, your turn. So Ryder has a choice now. He can, so did Dad, but Ryder has a choice. He can take from one of these circles or he can take from the middle. And again, he has to take only what is the same, so he would have to take all the blues, but he would also get a penalty of the one. Okay, so he took the blue and the rest are going to the middle. I'm going to go with, hmm. I'm gonna take the snowflake and push these in. Go Lily. Just taking the reds and pushing these in. I've never taken the one the chip, but I have to now. Uh oh. Okay, so dad's no, taking. Hold on. Oh, do, do I have to take the whole? So dad's taking from the middle. So he will take all of whatever color he's going to take. So he's doing the blue. And he'll take the one chip. Okay, so he couldn't have just taken two of them. He had to take all of the blues. Dad, can you hold up your board there? Because I'm just going to show where the number one tile went. So at the bottom, right here, that's where the one goes. So he will get negative one point for that. If you ever have to discard any of your squares, that's where they end up. It doesn't happen often, um, but it does happen. Okay, Ryder, your turn. Okay. I don't get a penalty because the penalty one is already gone. So I'm taking these. Go ahead, Lily. Oh, Lily pointed out that I had my um, snowflake over here. That should have been over here. I'm sometimes I get so caught up in trying to explain, I just put things in the wrong spaces. So they have to point it out for me. I did. Ryder. 
Okay, so you can see what Ryder did. It took him two turns, but he now has the two row completed with snowflakes. It took you three turns? One. Yeah. Okay. Oh, somebody forgot to push these into the middle. That helps me, because now I'm going to take these three. Go ahead, Lily. Guys, right, sorry for the shaky camera. We have a cat like sleeping on the tripod right now. I don't know why he's even up here. But... I don't really know why he sleep on a tripod. I don't know. Uh, he, he likes playing games. Looks really comfy. But we turned off his water fountain. Kate Ryder, I think it's your turn. Kate, feline. That's yours. Okay, so can we see Dad's whole board? Yes. Okay, so you can see what he did. He had the choice to put that yellow one there to start his row of five, but he didn't want to. So instead, he chose to discard it and put it at the bottom. So you'll see Dad will go negative one. For the one, no, he'll go negative one for the one, and he'll go negative one for that yellow. So he will go negative two in total. And they get progressively larger. This one would be worth two and negative minus two. two, and all the way up to minus three at the end. Negative three. So big, yeah, the big, more you discard, penalties. the more penalty you have. So what's going to happen? I'm going to use my board first as an example. If the row is completed, which all mine are. You're going to move them over and you're going to cover that color. Now, again, I don't I'm not really, I don't focus on the game when we're doing taping just because I'm trying to give instructions. So, I get 0 points for that cuz none of them are actually touching. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and stay at 0. Anything that's left here is going to go in the box lid. So I'll show you Ryder's board, because his is a little bit different. So he ended up, he got the first two, so I'll go ahead and move those over for him. This will get discarded. He did not complete this row of three. So they actually stay there until next round. So to show how to score points, so you saw I got zero because none of them were touching. To score points, you get one point for each tile that is touching each other. So for this one, he gets one, two. So Ryder gets two points. Did anybody else get any points? No. No, nobody else had touching tiles, only Ryder. So I'll move his back over here. I was sporadic like yours, so I didn't have to. Yeah, so was Lily here. And Lily has some left on the board as well. I'll move it up here. So she didn't complete some rows. She has some left on the board. But the rows that were completed, we moved them over and discarded whatever was left on the rows. All right, so we'll show you how to do one more round, and then we'll go ahead and speed it up after that. So we'll make this one kind of nice and quick. Julie's going to clean up after me. 
you really don't need a lot of space for this game at all. And especially, I'll show you after, there's a second side to this board where you could, you could literally draw your own board once you were good at it. We haven't even attempted the other side because we're still learning too. And this side's still fun right now. It is still fun. <laughs> when it gets boring, maybe we'll try to go. Yeah. There you go. And okay. I, I drew the one piece. So, yes, yeah, so Dad drew the one piece, so he'll go first. But I'm just going to show you. So, strategy wise, what you want to do. Oh, where's the one? Strategy wise, what I would want to do is I would want to, for the two line, I'd want to go with black or yellow or snowflake so that I can get some points. Okay, again, with the three line, I would want to get like maybe a blue or a red, again, to get some points, or the snowflake, I could get three points there. Do you want to so that's kind of what you're looking for. So take a look at the move I'm going for, because I'm sporadic, I'm going to try and find something that I can go, because I get to go first, I get first choice. I'm going to take these three. The three yellows. So I can push it in near these other ones, immediate points, so right he'll get as soon as it slides over. So he'd get... Well, I'll do the I'll do his points afterwards because that one's a little bit different. But okay, Ryder, go ahead. Oh, you're gonna make me do it, aren't you? You're gonna make me do it? Yeah. Okay. So I need those. So I'm gonna put the one in my discard. Fill up my three. Okay, Lily, go. Head. And we like this one because it's kind of its own little logic puzzle that you're kind of doing on your own, but at the same time you have to watch the other players and you know, do I well, hinder if, them or do I help me? And or? Some, if there's a resource in short supply, does <sighs> everybody want the same one? Yeah, so it's, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take the red. Go ahead, Lily. Offensive, that's for sure. Oh, sorry, defense. Dad? Oh. Uh, while he's making his move, you go, go ahead. Just ignore me. Um, I will point out, let's say, for example, in my one column, I wanted snowflakes, so I had to take from here. You have to take both, even though I only need one. The other one would go to your discard. So don't forget that. Um, you can be penalized at the end. Let's say everybody leaves the blacks and they all get pushed to the middle, and nobody had that five space open, <clears throat> you can be penalized with all six. So just be thoughtful of that at the end. Ryder, your turn. Taking the yellow, right? I'm going for the black. So I'm going to go black, Lily. No, 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 no. It's going to be so bad. We have three of them, and he's the only one that ever likes to come and play games with us. The other two, eh, I could care less. Okay. So looking at my board here, I have the four row left and the five. If I do go with the black, I couldn't put it in the four because I already have my black here, but I could put it in my five. So just again, be aware because you'll take negative hits for those. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
take the blue. Go ahead, Lily. What are you doing? So I think she's thinking hard about these blocks because she only needs one. <laughs> And she can't split them between two different rows. She can't put one in the four row and two in the five. She can't do that. The other one's the, the only, her only yeah, other she's going to go for it. So she's going to have to discard two and add the last block to her four row. Okay, so it's Dad's turn. Take a penalty. Okay, he's going to do the same thing. Ryder, your turn. Mm, I'm taking what are you the reds. Doing? You're taking the reds? Yep, I'm taking Huh, okay. I guess taking the yellow, put it on the bottom. All right, so again, you move. I'll put my board in the middle so that you can see what I'm doing. So you take them and you move them over. So this row's completed, and I'm gonna get two points for that. One, two. And I'm gonna put this one here. That's a row of one, two, three. Three points. One, two, three. This one's also done, so I'm gonna move it here. One, two, three. One, two, three. These are going to go into the box lid. This row's not done, this row's not done. So they stay on the board. I also got a negative one here. So I'm going to go back one and put that back in the middle. Okay. So that is my board, and that's kind of how you score keep. Um, no, I think everybody else is similar, but different. Yeah, similar, okay? Yeah. I have, I'm at five. I'm at five. You know what? We'll show Dad's here because his is his is a little bit different there too, okay? Alright, let's start. Yep. So I get one, two. One, two. Slide my blues. Um, That's one, two. Three. One, two. Okay. Okay. So initial two, glance, that looks like three, but it's not. It's one, two, three, four. For one, two, one. three, four. So you count the yellow actually twice there. And that one there. One, one two. two. And a penalty, so I'm only going to go one. Okay. So he gets to clear his whole board. Okay. Lily, are you done? Lily, are you done? Can we clear the board? Um, are you having a problem? Does she need more? No. Oh, okay. Well, she was being a show off here. That's what she's trying to do. She's already got a vertical line. That does not end the game. It's a horizontal line that ends the game. But vertical lines give you seven at the end of the game. At the end of the game. We always count those big bonuses at the end of the game. Just because it kind of makes it a little bit more uh, suspenseful, I guess. Okay? So Lily did get a vertical line, but she's not going to count those points quite yet. But she will get five points because just for the line itself. One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. All right. Did you, you take your five points? Oh, and then oh, you got penalty. Okay. She's our silent one. She won't. She will not speak. So she she does normally talk, but she's just very quiet. So she gets she just points for me. Not do you, Ryder. Do you need right, Ryder? Yeah. Do, you, do nope. you need a refill, or can you do another? Nope. We're good to go. Okay. You don't do a refill. Oh yeah, you do. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going crazy. I, I think there. I don't know. I yeah. think the rule is that they're supposed to. You don't refill the bag until they're all out. Yeah. Okay. So again, out. yeah. Once this bag has no more tiles in it, we'll take whatever is in the box lid. We'll add it back to the bag. Once there's not enough tiles, oh, 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 just enough just enough for that but i still have two more circles so i'm going to take these used ones and i'm going to put them back in here okay. Who 
took the first penalty last time? That was me, me, right? I, no, you, yeah, you were that one. That was me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of whip through this. We're going to speed it up. Um, but I think we covered the basics of scoring and placing and then moving over afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and speed it up and let's see who wins. So that's game. Mom ended it by getting a horizontal row. So I've counted all my basic points. So now I'm going to show you how to count the patterned points. So I will get two points for my horizontal. One, two. I will get seven points for my vertical and I got two verticals. So that's 14 points. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I will get 10 points for every pattern color that I got all of them, which is 2. So I get 20 points because I played all the yellow and all the snowflakes. So that's another 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's my own personal high score. I got 81. Lily, what did you get? 43. 43. Mm. She had a hard one. Dad? Mom and I were very close. I thought I was in the lead, but I, the only got, was... sorry, I only got 80. 80. What'd so you I get, got, Ryder? I got some bonuses at the end there, but she I got, got one more than me. I got 48. 48. So Dad and I kicked... <laughs> The kids in the but, I don't know how no but but, but seriously this yeah. is this is the highest scores we've ever had yeah for our, sure it our is. scores when we first started playing everybody got below 40 sometimes we scored in the tens or the teens or 20s yeah. that was a maximum. my highest score was like 75 so 75. the, the yeah. more you play it the more you'll you'll see the the systems and the logics involved you get in the it. higher scores yeah. and, and this time I was able to go for those the all the complete like all the yellows and all the snowflakes like i, just, I was able I just, to do I that so gonna... that um yeah so i'm going to quickly show you the other side of the board exactly the same setup except it's a free-for-all on this side they're not colored okay same rule um i don't know if you can kind of think like sudoku i guess when you move them over let's say i have when you move them over, put that there, you can put that there, but you cannot put that there. It would have to be one of each color. But it has, it can, you know, like, you could have these two here instead and you'd have to put it there. But you can, yeah, you can totally make your own pattern. Um, but to begin, this one's just the easiest, you know where they are spread out. No same colors in each vertical row or horizontal row. So that's Azul. 
We really like it. What do you guys think? I like it. Was it a good first first uh, board game Christmas gift? Yeah. It was a good one to start with? It was a good one to start the year with in January? Yeah. Right on. Awesome. Okay. So that's Azul. So keep playing and have fun. Mm -hmm.